Well, good morning everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here and welcome to the channel. Hey, today we're going to do a little mod on the Tacoma back there. And the reason I say it's a mod, it's kind of a demod, but it's a mod too. And it involves this and this. And what I'm going to do uh, on previous videos, if you recall, if you watch, then you know I put my own little home link kind of system in the Tacoma back there. And all it involved was the guts of a garage door opener, you know, the little clicker, and a momentary switch. But since we're going to trade this thing in, I don't want to leave that in the truck because as much as I trust the next owner that I don't even know, I don't want them being able to open my garage door. So we're going to go over, we're going to take that out, I'm going to show you how simple it is. And we're going to put in a replacement, which I happen to have from Tacoma's past, blank, blank switch cover um, to cover the hole, which was there before I did my garage door opener mod. So before we do this, let me take you over, show you what I'm talking about in case you don't know, and then we'll do this. All right, let's get inside here and I'll show you. Uh, you may have seen this on previous videos, and that is my little red button here. This is my momentary switch, and it's very simple. It's just wired underneath, and I do have it pulled out a little bit. Fortunately, I was just able to grab onto the switch and pull this out. I didn't even have to remove this trim piece here, but it's simply wired to this garage door opener right here. That's it. So all I need to do is clip that wire uh, that I ran up to the switch, and you can see it in red back there. And then I'll be able to un-Velcro because that's all that's holding that switch up there. You can see my black tape, though, kind of came off a little bit. Um, I'll be able to pull that switch out once I uh, disconnect the wires. So let me go grab my wire snippers, my wire cutters. We'll clip that wire real quick, and then, uh, and then we'll pull the rest of this thing out. Okay, got my handy dandy wire snippers or wire clippers or wire cutters, whatever you want to call these, right here. Let's uh, let's get back in here and I don't think I zip tied this. I might have. Yeah, I actually taped it um, to the wire right up here. So we are going to have to take that wire off or the tape off. That should be pretty simple. I didn't zip tie this, which is strange. Normally I would have. For some reason I chose to use tape. Maybe I knew what I was going to do, you know? There, we've got the tape off. Let's go ahead and take that off the wire. Kind of get that out of the way. Well, it's still pretty sticky. Now, we're gonna just snip this wire here. And I'll do it uh, about up in here somewhere. Notice I gave myself a lot of play. So let's go ahead and snip that. And then we can remove the actual clicker base, if you will. Pull that off. And we'll just leave the Velcro there. So there's the guts. I'm going to go ahead and I'll put the switch back in on this thing. Um, so that I can use it in the meantime. But that's the... Uh, that's the guts or the clicker. So let's pull that out. Now, up here, we have the switch, which I've already pulled out a little bit, as I said. So we should just be able to pull that right out. There you go. That, uh, again, it's just a momentary switch. And what I had done, let me take you out here and I'll show you this real quick. What I had done was just pull out the blank that was in there before, which is what the switch is in now. This was just a blank, which is what this is. And I drilled a hole in the top of it so I could slip the momentary switch in. There is a, uh, a nut, you guys can see right here on the back of it. That's what holds this momentary switch on. And if you don't know, a momentary switch is just that. It contacts for just a moment. In other words, you push it in, let it go, and that creates or completes the circuit rather to the clicker back there and trips your garage door. It's pretty simple. Um, it's no different than if you were just pushing the button on the garage door itself. Um, there are a couple videos up on the channel about how I do this mod, so if you're interested in that, I'll, uh, I'll put a link right here if you guys want to see that. But that's, uh, that's the short version. Now, all we have to do 
is pop this blank back in and that's pretty much it and we've removed everything we need to remove so let's do that bring you guys with me here you can see there's just an opening here right now pretty simple this should just pop right back in that's it and that's what it looked like exactly like this minus the chrome uh, or the chrome the carbon fiber surround I put on there this is just an overlay from tough skins but it just pops back in and that's it so as you can see it's not a damaging mod um, I didn't change anything in the truck it was independent of the truck except for this cover which I've replaced and uh, nobody would ever know it was there so let me grab this uh, the remote and this again just has a couple of wires uh, soldered to the contact points on the back again you can check that out in a uh, previous video if you want to see how that was done and that was it and that is pretty much the completion of the demodding of my Tacoma back here um, I've taken I think everything out of it that involves any kind of effort there's a couple things left the bed mat in the back we're gonna pull that well that's just taking the bed mat out right um, and the floor mats. I had put uh, all-weather floor mats in here that I purchased. It did come with carpeted mats. We're going to go ahead and put those carpeted mats back on because my thought is, and the off-road may come with it, I don't know, but the off-road version is what I'm going to get, and I'm going to put these all-weather mats in that truck. And again, I'm assuming that all of the... Uh, uh, securing points or the, the little clips that you use to hold it down are all the same. We're going to find out. That's one thing that's going to be interesting for me on this journey of going to a 2020 Tacoma is how similar is it to the 2018, which is what this is. I'm thinking that the bones of it, the, 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 the frame and all that good stuff is the same it's only a few options that they've added that differentiate it from the 2018 but we're going to find out i'm going to be pretty disappointed if uh these parts don't just slip right in so anyway i want to get on here uh bring you guys with me on the last big removal um or mod demod depending on how you look at it of my 2018 tacoma a little update while I'm at it. I actually spoke to a dealership today. Uh, we're working on something. There might actually be the exact truck that I want available at their warehouse or their distribution point. We'll see. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my little garage door opener mod. Is this something you've ever done? Have you ever heard of it? It's pretty darn handy if you don't have Homelink gets that clicker out of the way or at least hidden underneath and it's pretty cool too i think it's a pretty cool little mod um i appreciate you guys watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time maybe in a new truck i don't know down the road on the web have a great day bye